This is the Boston Teachers Union Teacher Portfolio Project. I'm Mark Lonergan, and this is video number nine, Moving and Linking. We're going to talk about how to move items up and down on your web page, how to add a caption to a photo, and how to add links between pages. These are the small little details that can make your website really look nice. Let's start with the home page. And since it's right, pops up right away, let's add an, a caption to this photo. Um, adding a caption is pretty easy. You click on the photo and you click the more dots. And one of the choices should be to add a caption. You can type something in there, um, like a quote or information. And maybe you want to make this small text depending on how big the quote is. Maybe you want to center it with the photo. Done. If you're not happy with that, of course, you can click and make sure you click just on the caption and then delete it. No big deal. Next thing we're going to do is talk about how to move things up and down on your page. Let's say on this home page, for example, that you want the buttons to be at the bottom and you want the contact information to be further up on the top. Um, so as you hover over each section, you see that there's these three items on the side to edit. This one changes the color, replicate, duplicate, and throw it away. And then there's also these dots right here. If you click on those dots and grab and drag, you can move that section. Now when you're moving, it takes a little bit of time and it'll show you a thick blue line where it's going to move to when you release it. So I said I wanted these buttons moved down to the bottom, so I'm going to hover it until it's at the line right below contacts and then release it. And then I said I wanted contacts, my, my email address I might want closer to the top of the page, so I'm going to again hover over that and drag it. Maybe not the very top, but right there. Okay. Now, there was one more thing I was going to do. Oh, I remember. Adding links. So if you remember last time I made, added a couple new pages. One that was feedback from students and one that was feedback from colleagues. What if I'd like to link that up to the main, to the contents on the main page? That's easy to do. I simply highlight where I want the hyperlink to be. And then I can, um, when I double click on it, a menu comes up which includes the insert link option. I click that and it gives me the choice of linking to one of the pages on the website or linking to um, an external address. So I'm gonna choose feedback from students and then just click apply. I'll choose feedback from colleagues. And again, I'm going to insert a link I'll scroll down and find that new page I made and click apply. And then I've got some live links where I can go between pages pretty easily. Let's take a look at what these new changes look like in print preview. Hmm, lovely. So now I've got a, let's see. I've got a caption with my picture. I've got the contact moved closer up to the top and the buttons moved down to the bottom. And I've got the additional links added right there on the feedback from students page and feedback from colleagues page. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching and enjoy making you a portfolio.